Welcome back, everybody. Um, let's check in with Meredith for uh, the weather. I don't weather. know what's so funny, but it's 6.40 it a.m. Let's check in the morning. Over to... That's what we were talking about. Oh. She says she has a special picture for us. Oh, Meredith. Yes. I do. Good morning. What a great photo. Brad Daniels in Santa Barbara sent these two photos for you, Sharon and Joe. So they're hibiscuses. They're my favorite flower, but a beautiful pick of the morning for both of you and for everyone to enjoy this morning. And let's now go down to Ventura, another beautiful city where we got this photo when it's not foggy. This is what Ventura actually looks like. So I got this one on Twitter. Of course, if you want to be pick of the morning, send your pictures in. I'd love to give you and your family a shout out on air, whether it's your business, I know if there's a big group of firefighters, put a picture together and send it and we'll give your station a shout out this morning. As far as the live camera goes right now, we are seeing fog sitting still over Santa Barbara, so we're keeping an eye on that this morning. Ojai, not much of a change for you. This is courtesy of the Ojai Hospitality Group. In the Santa Ynez Valley Airport, still pretty fogged in this morning. In fact, visibilities have actually dropped in some areas. Down to two in Goleta, Santa Maria doing much better, as well as part of the 101. This had lots of fog on it earlier. Now our main focus is Vandenberg Air Force Base, so good thing uh, there was no launch this morning because that fog could have played another role in, uh, in uh, slowing things down with that. But Goleta, you're down to two for visibility right now, and we are going to see this fog stick around for much of the morning. Now once we get into the afternoon, later in the afternoon, the south coast will actually start to clear up, but we're still going to see that fog hugging the coast pretty good up and down the coast overnight into early tomorrow morning. It's July, but June gloom is sticking with us, and with that, it's also going to be becoming pretty mild temperatures. So here's a look at your temperatures for the south coast today, mostly in the 70s. Winds will not really be a factor. In fact, we'll just be seeing that morning fog the next couple of days. But the 4th of July, just days away. Your forecast is looking great in Santa Barbara, 76 and mostly sunny for you. We'll kick off July 4th with partly sunny skies in Santa Maria with low 70s and overnight lows in the 50s, so a little bit chillier for you. If you're in San Luis Obispo and having festivals and parades this week, weekend. It's looking pretty nice. Again, just watch out for that morning fog, but the sun will come out in the afternoon with temperatures climbing right around 80 degrees. Lompoc, upper 60s to low 70s for the entire next seven days. And Ventura, you're also going to remain in the 70s as we get into the first official week of July. We'll see 60s overnight, and then we'll see the five cities in the low 60s. But then this weekend, what better weather to watch fireworks in the parade than mid to upper 60s in the beaches.